This is Sports Center with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagandi. Welcome to Sports Center. So the Lions get a big win last night at Lambeau. They also get big news on an early return of a key player. Details ahead and which ranked college football team is in trouble this weekend. Speaking of college football, we got the college game day guys standing by from Durham. Plus, we're going to break down a couple of key divisional matchups in the NFL on Sunday. And actually, Kevin, we're going to start right there. In the After TV show, The Wire, which of course is famously set in Baltimore, a character named Slim Charles poignantly said of the past, the thing about the old days is they're the old days. For baseball fans in Baltimore, the bad old days really aren't that far away. But right now, no one in Charm City cares to think about them anymore, nor should they. A new day has dawned at Camden Yards. Coley Harvey has more in tonight's Sports Center report. Oh, we're back with another taking the L. Last night, Jared Goff and the Lions beat the Packers. And then the quarterback destroyed Ryan Fitzpatrick, who in the Amazon pregame show called Goff, quote, a poor man's Matt Ryan. And apparently, he's also a poor man's Green Lantern because the dude hears everything. I thought I played better throughout the rest of the game. Uh, hope it's up to your standards. You played a lot. <laughs> okay. you, you played very well, dog. Okay. We very happy. Well, I, I, I didn't know it was a poor man's anything, but... but oh, know, he hears okay. that. He's listening. I heard about it. That's what I ah, it's so awkward. Uh, by the way, spicy Jared Golf, my favorite Ryan Gosling character. I just think everybody needs to cool down. And one Packers fan has just the thing for that. Yep. That's Amon Ross St. Brown getting doused with beer after a Lambeau leap. Unreal. Everybody knows you can only throw beer on a grown man in celebration. Honestly, I swear, some of these people are so completely out of control. How are regular fans supposed to protect themselves? He is my emotional support alligator. That is Joe Henney, who tried to bring his emotional support alligator Wally to Citizens Bank Park to see the Phillies on Wednesday. He was clearly denied interest, but not for what you think. When asked why the cuddly little guy was turned away, a team spokesperson said, what's the point? His arms are too short to throw snowballs at Sam. Hey! Allegedly. Hey! Alleg hey, you it. Allegedly. 